For over 3,000 years, from Morocco to China, camels have provided nomadic people with a source of food, milk, clothing, and transportation across barren deserts. You can instantly recognize camels by the humps on their backs, and there are three species alive today. All three camels have amazing adaptations to the desert lifestyle that have helped them survive in environments where not many other animals could. First, the bodies of camels have many features to help them live on the sand, including wide feet which prevent them from sinking into the dunes. They are able to close their nostrils to keep sand from blowing into their noses, and they have long lashes to protect their eyes. If any sand does become trapped in their eyes, the camels actually have a third eyelid that they can use to get the sand out. Camels are herbivores, and their teeth are sharp so that they can eat thorny plants that grow in the desert. They have an unusual way to chew their food. First, they will swallow it whole, then regurgitate it back up the throat and into the mouth to chew the undigested food. This may sound gross to us, but it's important to the camel's survival. Water is very scarce in the desert, and camels can preserve water in their bodies in many ways. One is that they simply do not sweat as much as people do, even in temperatures as warm as 120 degrees. Another is that when they exhale, their nostrils trap water vapor, which the body reabsorbs. A lot of people believe that camels store water in their humps but this is actually not true. The humps are actually used to store fat, and this gives the camels an extra source of energy for long treks across the desert. When camels burn this fat, it produces water that enters the bloodstream to keep them hydrated. When a camel finally does stop for water, it may drink up to 30 gallons in 10 minutes. Of the three species of camels, only one has a single hump, the dromedary camel, which is native to North Africa and the Middle East, Pakistan, and Northern India. This is the tallest camel species, standing almost seven feet tall at the hump and 11 feet long. Scientists estimate that 94% of all camels alive today are dromedaries. Throughout their native range, the dromedary camel is actually extinct in the wild. All surviving individuals in the region are domesticated. However, you may be surprised to learn where you will find dromedaries in the wild. In 1840, British colonists brought large numbers to Australia to use for transportation. When motorized transport was introduced to Australia in the early 20th century, the camels were released into the wild. The camels that live in Australia are feral, meaning that they are descended from domesticated animals but now live in the wild. They've been able to thrive in the arid conditions of the outback, and it is now believed that the population there numbers almost a million. Now let's travel to Asia, where we will meet both of the world's two humped camels. Camels with two humps are called Bactrian camels, and they exist both in the wild and as domesticated animals. At first glance, wild and domestic Bactrian camels look very much alike, but they are actually two separate species. The wild Bactrian is smaller and thinner than its domestic cousin, and also has smaller humps, shorter fur, and a flatter skull. The domestic Bactrian is found from Afghanistan to China. But the wild population is found only in the Gobi Desert of China and Mongolia. There are about 2 million domestic Bactrian camels alive today, but less than 1,000 in the wild. Unlike the dromedary camel, which lives in deserts that are warm all year long, Bactrians can survive a wide range of temperatures. The regions where they live can be 122 degrees in the summer to 20 degrees below zero in the winter. To survive in these extreme climates, 
They grow thick woolly coats, which can be over 10 inches thick and are shed during the spring. Both wild and domestic Bactrian camels will actually eat snow to keep them hydrated during the winter. Think of it as an all-natural snow cone. Today, people in Africa and Asia do not depend on camels as much as they did in ancient times, because many of the nomadic tribes have given up their wandering lifestyle. Nevertheless, camels are still some of the most recognizable animals on Earth, and hopefully they will always have a future. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on our next adventure.